All right. Now, it's time for everybody to hate me, but I'm gonna show you, this is it, A minor C, A minor F, C, G. I'm gonna show you four chords. Open chords is what they call them. Um, you have an open A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, I'm going to show, and you've got minors and majors, so we'll, we'll get into that later. But I'm going to show you four open chords that make up so many songs. It's the mo and the way, the order they're played in, too. And I'll show you a couple variations of, of that. But uh, if you learn these chords, you can, you know, really play a lot of different stuff with them. So the first chord, my favorite chord in the world, is an A minor. You're gonna take your index finger, first fret, second string from the bottom, middle finger, second fret, uh, fourth string from the bottom. Then you're gonna take this finger on the same third fret. See what I'm doing here? But I'm putting it on the, the third string. So you got here, 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 and here. It's kind of a squeeze at first, you'll get used to it. Eventually you'll be able to just do this. Look, my hand's open. I just hammered that note right on. It's actually in Mary Jane's last dance. That's, anyway, so that A minor chord shape, second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret, third string, second fret. And we're only going to be strumming um, from the second string from the top. We don't want to strum the top string on this. I like to hold my thumb here. Remember how I told you about muting things? When you're playing loud guitar, muting is your best friend. So anyways, A minor chord. Sounds good, doesn't it? Now, the next chord gives every beginner guitar player trouble. There's two ways to play it, but in this progression, the harder way is the the better way so what you're going to do and i'll show you a shortcut on this for beginners but you're going to take these bottom two strings and press down on both of them then the your uh, middle finger is going to go on the third string on the second fret and then your ring finger is going to go on the fourth string on the third fret that's an F. Now you're gonna have trouble pressing these down and still getting these on. So what you can do is just take press on that same string because you're, you're already here from the from the A minor. So just keep that finger there, but don't pre just press down here. Don't and don't let that chord ring out. And then you just got your next finger goes one string up, and then one string up. So we got first fret, second fret, third string up, third fret, fourth string up. And now remember I'm muting that, I'm just letting my finger kind of rest. This finger is pressing down on uh, the second string from the bottom, but it's just kind of touching the other one. That way it doesn't make any noise, but you got a shortcut now. You don't have to worry about barring this. Really, Trust me, that gives a lot of people trouble. You can also play the chord like this as a bar chord, but as a new player, I wouldn't, you know, suggest, suggest doing that. Anyway, so remember we got their A minor. So the F. And then what we're gonna do with this shape is just move every finger up one string. So we went from here, up one, up one, 
up one. That's a C chord. Then we're gonna go to a G chord. We're gonna have pinky here, third fret bottom string, middle finger, um, I'm used to playing it a different way. I'm trying to give you an easier way. Um, middle finger, or uh, there we go. Middle finger, same fret, but top string. So you got this finger on the third fret, and you got your middle finger on the top string of the third fret. And then this finger is going to go on the second string of the second fret. That's a G chord. I like to play it with both these fingers here and here, there and there, because it just sounds, that's, that's the real way to play the chord. You can also cheat if you know how to mute well and just, just press this top string and mute all the rest of them. Well, you're not muting all the rest of them. You're, that's actually probably even harder. So just learn this G chord. You got pinky, third fret, middle, uh, ring finger, third fret, second string up, middle finger, top string, same fret. All These are all in the same fret. And then the only one on the second fret is your pointer finger is going to be on the second string down. Now, those are very important chords. If you gotta rewind back and look at them, go ahead and look at them. But you, there are so many songs, I'll show you if you very, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, The Passenger by Iggy Pop, it goes something like. So that, there's one, then there's a, um, I think it's a Counting Crows, Save Tonight. Fight the break up, no, that all is that one goes. And then there's that uh, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. That one goes. That's just a few examples of what you can do with that. I mean, there's hundreds of songs. That is the most common chord progression on a guitar. So this is what you want to practice in between learning these simple songs that I'm teaching you, is practice these chords, practice these progressions. And don't change until you have them perfect. Don't go like, don't go. You want to make sure everything's perfect. Go real slow. Not a bad note in there. So, you know, then you'll be able to speed it up to. That just comes with time and practice. So those are some notes that I want you to work on. That's like homework type stuff in between the fun little, you know, short songs and riffs I'm teaching you. So uh, yeah, practice those up because there's more chords coming. So get those down, rock on.